everyone, it's Tina and I'm talking to you from my outside porch today because it is finally beautiful here in New Jersey and I could not pass up the opportunity to enjoy the beautiful weather and I also felt like today was a good time to make a video about uh, self-esteem and um, staying true to yourself while being ill and dealing with autoimmune diseases or really any other kind of chronic illness or disability. It can be really difficult um, to feel like yourself um, and to enjoy your life in, in the way that you thought you would when everything's changed in your life and it can be painful or impossible to do the things you like to do and due to medications and side effects of illnesses you don't look the way that you want to and in a lot of time a lot of cases there's really nothing you can do to change it like um, weight gain because of steroids it's you know it's it's very very difficult if not impossible to not gain weight when you're on steroids long term um, uh, my personal experience was that I've I've struggled with my weight my whole life and I had a lap band put in five years ago and I lost 75 pounds and I was very happy with the way I looked and the way I felt. I was eating well, I was exercising, and I was, you know, very happy. And then um, I was diagnosed with RA and I needed to be on steroids, high dose steroids long term, to get the RA under control so that I could actually physically walk. So exercising, going to the gym was completely out of the question. And because of, just because of the steroids, um, I gained 80 pounds. And so there was nothing I could do to stop it. There was nothing I could do to slow it down. I was still continuing to eat as well as I possibly could, but between the steroids and the lack of ability to exercise, um, I just ballooned up. And the first thing, of course, that happened was that my face ballooned up and I got the, the classic steroid moon face. And that there's really nothing you can do to hide that. There's really nothing you can do to change it. Um, and it's really hard to feel like yourself um, when when you look so different and there's really nothing you can do uh, to change that look. I have lupus and one of the uh, side effects of lupus is hair loss. So my hair is very, very thin. You can, if I wear my hair in a ponytail, you can see my scalp right through, um, through you know, through, through my hair. Um, and I have little bald patches and I used to have beautiful hair. So to me that was that was a huge blow. So one of the things that I do to try to feel more like myself is um, I wear wigs. So today I am wearing one of my favorite wigs and um, because when I looked in the mirror this morning I saw bald spots and I wanted to cry and instead of hating what I saw and crying I pulled out my wig, put it on, and put on some red lipstick and said, all right, I actually, I like the way I look today. This is, I'm happy with this. So that's a little thing that I do. Um, you know, makeup is another thing that I often use to try to feel more like myself. Uh, one of the big side effects that I get from steroids is terrible, awful, painful acne. And since I had Rituxan, uh, my two rounds of Rituxan recently, I also have to get IV steroids with them, so I've been having a lot of uh, painful acne. So I've been using makeup, excuse me, to hide that and to feel a little better about myself. Um, but there's, like I said, there are certain things that change that you can't hide, you can't, you know, fix. And so what do you do to feel more like yourself or how do you adjust to this new self that is that you are, that you become when you're sick, when you have these autoimmune diseases? Another thing that's a big blow to a lot of people's self-esteem is the need to use assistive devices to get around um, and the need to do things like use uh, handicap parking spaces to be able to complete their day-to-day -day tasks. And especially if you're younger, uh, using a cane or a walker or being in a wheelchair can feel really, really bad and people can be very judgmental and cruel about it. So 
I know a lot of people who will decorate their wheelchairs or their canes or their walkers um, to reflect their personalities. I personally have a cane. Um, my favorite cane has a uh, raven skull topper as the handle and uh, that reflects me and my personality and so it's, it makes the cane not only an assistive device but it also makes it kind of a, an accessory for me. But it does not everybody can will feel comfortable um, with their assistive devices even if they you know make them more to themselves. The biggest thing I think about being ill and having and the self-esteem issues that come with it really are about public perception and I think the what needs to happen is that there needs to be a change in public perception based in education. People don't understand um, what's hap you know, why young people or, or anybody are using these assistive devices. People don't understand that steroids will make you gain weight and there's nothing you can do about it. People don't understand that, um, you know, with um, lupus, no matter how much, you know, you want to go out and have, you know, a, a beautiful tan from the beach, that you can't do it because it will make you sick or it can kill you eventually. Um, so I've I've gotten a lot of flack from people for using um, a wheelchair. I've been told I'm lazy. Um, I've gotten even more flack from using my handicap parking permit when I need it. So whenever these opportunities, and I, I'm, I'm choosing to think of them as opportunities now, whenever these things happen, I see them as opportunities to educate people. When they tell me, um, you know, you're stealing a handicap spot from somebody who truly needs it, why are you using it? I will then explain to them, hi, I'm Tina and I have lupus and rheumatoid arthritis and I have a lot of mobility issues. I have a hard time getting around. I use a handicap space on certain days because if I don't, if I have to walk all the way across the parking lot, I would not be able to get my shopping done. So this allows me to get out and to have some semblance of a normal life. If you do you have any questions for me about this or, you know, I'll suggest that they go home and do a little research themselves. Some people may not be comfortable talking to strangers that they don't know like that. And that's totally OK. Um, I've I know a couple of people who've had business cards printed up that they'll hand out to people, um, you know, with these kinds of explanations or that some people just basically have ones that say F you if you know if you if you refuse to to be educated about these things um, but in the long run um, having keeping self-esteem through um, through illness through chronic illness through disability um, it's it's never easy and no matter how many things you do um, to try to adapt and to increase your self-esteem. I think pe pe most people, if not everybody, are still going to have days where they feel bad about themselves, where they feel um, like they're not themselves, and that's okay. And that's something that I don't think that society is, tells people enough. It's okay not to feel okay about yourself on a particular day. It's okay to not feel like yourself it's okay to be upset about it but when you do feel like that try to reach out to people try to reach out to your friends to your family to to me here to find you know to lupus support groups or out autoimmune support groups online to whoever you can um and the other thing too i think that's important is to in a way adapt um and to try to adapt to your new normal and to love yourself as you are because there's nothing wrong with being disabled. There's nothing wrong with having a chronic illness. There's nothing wrong with being fat. There's nothing wrong with using a wheelchair. All of these things and are, are things that I think society is starting to to have a movement toward making these things to, toward toward acceptance but i think also in a way 
it's going to be up to us those who are who have these diseases and those who care about us to really help advocate for you know these new normals so that everybody can feel good in the skin that they're in so i hope everybody has a really great day and um Next time I will, I will finally be posting the um, medication videos that I have made and I'm probably going to remake uh, some of them. But if there's any videos that you'd like me to make, any questions that you have, please get in touch and let me know. I really want to do this uh, video series in a way that um, it helps everybody. Um, so I hope everybody has a great day again and uh, see you guys soon. Bye.